Hi all, welcome back to a new video of Varela. So in this video, let's see how we can assign a task to the onboarding. So as we know, onboarding is a critical process for both the organization and the new company. It goes beyond just completing paperwork and providing basic training. Effective onboarding has a profound impact on employee engagement, productivity and retention. So it is very important for a company to have a proper onboarding process after the recruitment. And uh, there may be different tasks that are associated with each onboarding stages according to different companies. And it is very important to manage those tasks properly for the smooth running of the company. So let's see how we can manage that in Borilla. So here we have the uh, onboarding module and uh, under the onboarding module, we have onboarding view and the candidates view. So let's go to the onboarding view here. And uh, in the onboarding view, we can see different uh, uh, recruitments that are currently going on in the company. That is uh, recruitment drive and future force recruitment. And uh, under each recruitment, uh, we have different onboarding stages. So uh, that is when a candidate is hired through that recruitment, uh, he or she must go through these onboarding stages. So here we have the pre-boarding stage and the orientation stage. So to add a new stage to the onboarding, uh, we can just uh, simply click, click on the stage button over here. And uh, we can uh, provide, we have to provide a stage title. So let's say a uh, role specific training. That is a candidate uh, uh, will have a role specific training as part of the onboarding. And uh, we can, we have to also set the um, stage manager. So let's give a stage manager. And if you want to set this stage as a final stage of this onboarding process, we can just uh, on this toggle button over here. And uh, I'm just offing it right now. And uh, we can save this stage. So here we can see that the stage has been added under this uh, onboarding. So for e uh, in the each stage, we can see the candidate name, the email, the job position, the mobile, the joining date, the portal status, the task status, the stage which they are currently in uh, and we have some options here and uh, here we have the task uh, button. So if you want to create a new task for this uh, in this onboarding stage, we can click on this task button over here. And we have to give a task title, the task manager and we have the candidates option also. So let's give a task title, let's say asset allocation. So we have a task called asset allocation under this uh, pre-boarding stage. And we also have to provide a task manager for this. And uh, since there are uh, currently two candidates under this pre-boarding stage, uh, the candidates field is auto-populated with those two candidates. So if you want to remove any uh, candidates from that, uh, that is if you do not want to assign this task for any of these candidates, we can just remove it over here and we can apply this. So we can see that the task has been added in this stage that is asset allocation. So, since we have uh, removed the uh, candidate Emily Turner, uh, the task has not been assigned for that candidate. So, if you want to assign that task to the candidate, we can just click on the assign over here. So, as the task progresses, we can change the status of the task from here. That is, uh, to do scheduled, ongoing, stuck, done. So, once the task is done, uh, we can just uh, change the status of the task to done. And... Uh, We'll be, uh, we can see a message that the candidate's uh, task has been updated and uh, we can see the task status over here. So let's just uh, refresh this. And we can see that the task status has been changed to one on one. That is, uh, the ta uh, we, we only have one task over here and that task has been completed for Mia Read. So we can see the task status as one on one. So this is how we can add a task to the onboarding. So that is with this button, users have a clear overview of all the tasks, making it easier to ensure everything is completed on time. So it is a very user-friendly tool and it enhances the efficiency of the organization. So hope the concept is clear. Thank you for watching.